So you've been asked to evaluate this expression and express the answers in rational form. Rational form just means that you'll have a base to a certain exponent. And sometimes when we take a look at rationals, we also have the radical sign involved where we might have something underneath the radical and we might have a certain power here. So we might say that this is you know y and this is x. So the question before us is to evaluate this fraction plus this fraction, the problem being the exponents. We need to remember what a negative exponent does for us. A negative exponent causes a reciprocal. So if I have um, anything, let's say that this is y over z to the power of negative x, it reciprocates or flips the z and the y, and we end up with z over y to the positive x. Most important thing to understand here is that these did not become negative. The only thing that changed was the negative on the exponent went away. So the first bracket is already negative. It's going to stay negative. And the 2 and the 3 will reciprocate so that it becomes 3 over 2. That leaves me with a positive exponent of 1, which we can either write or we could leave out. The second bracket is already positive. It's going to stay positive. We are going to reciprocate it because of the negative 1. It becomes 5 over 2. Now we have a scenario where we've got two fractions and we are adding. We've got the same denominator, so we don't have to worry about common denominator. And so what we have is we have the same denominator and we've got a negative 3 plus 5. And I did this on purpose. We have to be very cautious as to where we write that negative sign. That negative sign, in this case, is on the whole fraction and it's on this first whole fraction. So we have to recall that it's actually the 3 from the first fraction that's, that was the negative. The only way that these can be same base is if both 2's are positive. Let me go off to the side here and explain what I mean a little bit further. If I wrote this as 3 over negative 2 plus 5 over 2, those aren't the same base. That's a negative 2 base. That's a positive 2 base. <clears throat> and the fraction of negative 3 halves can be written as 3 over negative 2. That is a valid way of writing it. It can also be written as negative 3 divided by 2. And you might be curious as to why that fraction can be written that many ways. When we talk about having a negative fraction, it means that something was negative. Either the top was negative or the bottom was negative. If they're both negative, a negative divided by a negative causes a positive answer. The word negative, or the negative symbol, just means not what it used to be. So if we have a negative square and we are going to divide as soon as we see another negative, that means not. So you're currently negative. Right now, that square is negative. And we're going to divide by not, or opposite. So think of the word negative as the word opposite. You used to be negative. Don't be anymore. So that actually just means square divided by triangle. The negatives kind of get burnt away, or, or however it is you need to think about it when, it, when that not gets used up. So that becomes a positive answer. But if I had a positive square divided by a negative triangle, that's like saying you are currently positive, and I'm dividing, and then not, or opposite. So be the opposite of positive. Well, the opposite of positive is negative. So if the opposite of positive is negative, my answer is going to be negative. I've got negative squared.
square, that's a horrible square, divided by triangle. Confused by all this? Then completely ignore it. Let's just go back to the question. Negative 3 plus 5 is 2. It's divided by 2. And so the answer is the whole number 1.